Hi boys and girls, it's time for Worldly Wise, and believe it or not, this is our last Worldly Wise lesson. So this week and next week will be our last 10 words. So I'm going to introduce our five new words for this week, and then we'll have five new words next week, and then you'll have your last Worldly Wise assessment next week. I cannot believe it. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so your first word is, any guesses? Look to see what's happening in this picture. The boy is being stung by a bee. When a bee stings, it pricks the skin with its sharp stinger and it hurts. So the word is sting. Let's say it together. Sting. One more time. Sting. Very good. Sting. Have you ever been stung by a bee? Knock on wood somewhere. Mr. McDee has never been stung by anything. Fun little fact. Okay, what do you see in this picture? A bird or a toucan. The air, arrow is pointing to the bird's beak, which is hard and sharp. So our word is beak. Let's say it together. Beak. Let's say it one more time. Beak. And there's a famous cereal bird named Toucan Sam. Name that cereal. Email it to me. All right. All right. What do you see in this picture? Flowers. Very good. Very popular right now in this season. Another word for flowers is blossoms. When flowers bloom, they blossom. Let's say it together, blossoms. Say it one more time, blossoms. Very famous TV show in the 90s. All right. Look at this picture. What do you see in this picture? Mittens. Yes, it is a pair of mittens. A set of two things that belong together is called a pair. Let's say it together. Pair. Say it one more time. Pair. And I know what you're thinking. There's two types of pair. A pair of mittens, but there's also the pair you eat. But the pair that you can eat is spelled differently. So that's why it's not on this picture card. So just so you know that this is a pair of mittens. The pair you eat is not spelled the same, so that's why it's not on the picture card. So don't use that as your example. All right, that's a different kind of pair. This is a pair of mittens. And the last one. What is the boy in this picture afraid of? Yes, he's afraid of the spider. When you are afraid of something, you have a fear of that thing. So the word is fear. Let's say it together. Fear. Let's say it one more time. Fear. Mr. McD has a fear of, do you know? Snakes. True story. Fear of snakes. It's, it's true story. Okay, so what I would like for you to do today is to practice saying the words and practice what they mean. You can send a picture of that or a video to me. All right, so you need to know how to say them and practice what they mean and send that to me. All right, so that's what you need to be working on. We're short one day, so let's, we're gonna ramp up the practice a little bit more because we'll be short a day next week too and we'll still have our assessment. So I hope you are doing well and uh, we will read a story using these words tomorrow and I will see you soon, bye.